Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up a second. So, <laughs> uh, so you're you're taking a JSON attacker prepares a you know yes. prompt uh, template or whatever JSON file, and then they upload that to Vertex AI, right? Yes. And now the the prompt that you've prepared is in their Vertex AI, and then you said they hit the get code button. What does the get code button do? The 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 get code basically. Uh, generates a call to call a the the Google uh, AI APIs uh, to test the prompt. Ah, okay, okay. So then this allows this gives you some way to um, use this specific prompt that you've prepared via the Google APIs. Yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> okay. And then when you do that, it it generates some some code, either some. Is it is it Bash Python? What, what did you say it was in this scenario? Uh, you have uh, many options like uh, cool Bash. Uh, uh, well, Bash is cool. Uh, then mm. Python and Node.js, etc. So, wow. <laughs> and then and and so what was happening there was you know it would generate it, and it would somehow pass in this prompt, you know, to to the the I guess curl let, let's just say curl in this scenario in this curl request right so maybe it's using like you know binary data or just like dash d or whatever in curl right yes and then and then inside of that JSON you were able to provide something that would break out of the JSON object within the, the, the so it's like a command line argument injection yeah uh, it was uh, like a uh, just command injection without anything tricks like just a uh, the end 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 uh, end of line, okay. And you need to close the multi line uh, uh, thing, and then you mm. can just insert it.